with some wings. Yeah, put my dick in your bitch, please. Yeah, rats come. What's going on, motherfuckers? Um, another other two video. Obviously, because you read the fucking title, you seen the damn picture. You know what the fuck about to go on in this bitch. Um, how do I put this? Yeah, same way I put every video. Uh, this one, I need to go over things I have for the R32, which means I need to go inside here the same way I kind of do like your mom. You know what I'm saying? Nice and fucking deep like you Anyways, main reason that I need to do some of this shit is because, for example, I have one, two, three, four steering rack bushings for no reason. I have one, two, three clutch lines all because I have these things. I don't remember that I have them and I go, oh, the car needs that. So I order that shit. So I have a lot of that, you know what I'm saying? Like I know I have a clutch master in this corner, right though, you can see it. But um, yeah, as you can also see, I have a bunch of other shit in here. I already know that's for the intake manifold. So I'm not worried about that, but I could have parts in this box also not for the intake manifold. Truth be told, T-R-O-F, truth. I'm not sure what I have for this car anymore. So it's been a long time. I've collected tons of parts for it. And it just dawned on me the other day that the parts that I'm missing for the turbo, which are the plates for these bolts and shit, and like that little bolt right there, I may actually have these parts. So, I mean, there's a very small chance that I have the parts because when I moved from my last house to this house, I cleaned up and I threw a bunch of shit out when I was over there. When I came here, I threw even more shit out. And I've cleaned several times over and over and over. I try not to throw shit out because I am kind of a hoarder when it comes to car and car parts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I made a, um, I made an intake for the Red Civic over leftover pipes that I had laying around here for fucking years. You know what I mean? So sometimes you want to make like a little duct or like a little tube for something stupid. I got pipes laying around where I would have normally had to purchase them. You know what I'm saying? Being that I've already purchased them at one point in time, why purchase it three or four times? Like, I've already done. You know what I'm saying? So, tell Joe motherfucking Breezy, stop bullshitting, chill on these motherfucking gas prices around here. You know what I'm saying? Put a little more money in my paycheck so I can keep doing more after two things. And, uh, yeah, let's watch some little things with the fuck about to go on. I see the swan song clutch my pearls Every day look like the end of the world Another day, another dollar to burn I never really want enough to return I look around, all I see are dead faces Hit the ground and I realize that I made it Through the flames, at the fire on the path Throw all the stuff for me. You got it going. What do you think? And you? You just supervising? Yeah, you. You supervising? Not doing a great job, are you? That's okay. That's okay. So, anyways, oh, I got to turn this fan off. Otherwise, you're all you hear is. You know what I'm saying? Makes it hot as fucking this bitch. All right. So, and you seen the little video? Whatever. Boom. Interior pieces, random shit everywhere, boom, boom, boom. And it's crazy that I had the thought of, oh, let me go ahead and sit down like right hook. You know what I'm saying? I had this thought of, I may have the parts for my turbo that I was missing this whole time in this fucking box, which didn't hit me till literally the other day for easily a couple of years now. I've been missing these pieces and I haven't fucking found them. So, I was just digging around the bolts, boom, 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 and I'm like, ah, you know, whatever, here's some of this, here's some of that. You know, like, strange oil pan bolt, I don't know what the fuck that's in there, you know, banjo bolt, 
We got other random bolts, which I know these bolts are important because they're shanked. You know what I'm saying? Don't know what they're for. I got cotter pins in here. This is some more uh, outside pieces. These are uh, seat bolts for the interior. This is a clutch pin that goes inside the uh, clutch slave. And then this is one that we made years ago. Actually, fucking fuck with both of these, but made this one years ago. Don't know why I still have them, but I do. That's for sure. Random shit. Uh, axle fucking washer. We got, you know, I'm saying random shit, right? Boom. But during my digging, of course, I find a set of banjo bolts with some nice, nice copper washers. That's hard to find these days. Uh, I think throttle bracket shit. Also kind of hard to get some nice quality, you know, little small bolts like this. I mean, it's hard for me to get. But the fucking brackets and the bolts that I've been missing for my turbo all these years has been in this box. So... I'm super fucking pumped about this. And I'm going to scuff these up and I'm gonna fucking spray them black so that way they're coated. They're not so rusty looking and shitty. So that's super exciting for that. Like, you have no fucking idea, I'm pumped as shit. Like for example, let's see what else we got. Interior piece, these are pieces of the door. More interior shit, like these are for the headlights. This is the brake check piece for the uh, PCV for the brake system. What else we got here? I don't know, I'll find another headlight piece actually. Like this bracket's for the throttle cable. Um, you know, fuse box cover, another fuse box cover, another fuse box cover. You know what I'm saying? Like random bolts. My first pair of driving, not driving gloves, but like my gloves to do work on when I'm out drifting and shit. Like, these are all random fucking bolts. GT badge and shit. Like, these are all random ass fucking bolts in here. But these all came out of this car at some way, some point. These are for the carpets. These little guys here. You know what I'm saying? Another axle nut bolt. This, I think, was for the throttle cable too. But I could, I could be wrong. I forget. Seat belt. You know what I'm saying? This. I forgot I bought this. I'm really glad I found this. This was a GK Tech subframe brackets they make for just adding support and structure to your rear subframe and it's the little bracket kit they came up with which is fucking sick this car is gonna get that shit um back to when i said i buy the same parts more than once here we have two brand new oem clutch masters these are s14 s15 clutch masters apparently they all fit in the same car and if i remember correct I bought this one originally, and I think I bought this one for the green car. Now, if I find one more of these, which there's a good fucking chance I have one more, then I would have bought these multiple times too many times. However, if we look, no, I lied. They're the same. So, yeah, two clutch masters. Boom. Here. This, this alternator, I'm pretty sure, is for this car. No idea. I'm pretty sure this is the original uh, AC control for this car. This could be for the S13 digital cluster, but... I think this is the R32 one. Found this guy, I'm looking for this, which I might have to buy another one anyways. This goes on the back of the turbo that converts it from four bolt to V-band. That's important. And this is an awfully wide V-band piece right here, but this is a nice piece. You know what I'm saying? Like a throttle cable I bought more recently. I didn't even realize I fucking had this guy right here. Uh, this is my, it says bad on there. So, yeah, this says bad. So, I mean, I thought originally this might have been my... I forget if this was from my 32 N62 map. Okay, now that's for the Z. This is for the two... This is for my S13 back in the day, black one. So that did go bad. Like, this is for the turbo, this coupler, into inlet coupler, which, you know, four to like three inch or some shit. That's a pretty big reduction. Or maybe it's bigger than that. I don't know. I got fucking radiator hoses and shit. Shit, boy. Three headlights, you know what I'm saying? But those are the original headlights. These are actually GTR headlights, which they were different from GTS headlights by the insides of them. Ask me how I know, because I took them apart already once. This is an N1 headlight I don't purchase once before. This is a driver's side. Love to restore this motherfucker right here. Um, definitely not coming off of that. One is better than none. And then these are old turbo springs. You know what I'm saying? Different colors, different fucking boost pressures. However, with my Tau 44 millimeter, they came with all the shit that I need in here, little baby. You know what I'm saying? These boys were from 
the back in the day wastegate, which was this precision turbo one. And it's crazy to see how much these go for now and how cheap these are. And you can't sell it, you can't even give these things away, right? But this is a very solid fucking unit. So I'm not fucking selling this shit. And these are springs for this. So they, you can go fuck yourself, motherfucker. Anyways, man, I can't believe, like, I don't even remember where, like, this cam comes from. I think this might have come from my girl Z, this green harness. But I have, like, I think two or three more of these Takata harnesses somewhere. And then I have seat rail and seat bell, which I'm pretty sure these were out of the green car originally. I have this seat rail, which I, I don't remember if this is like an East Bear one or like what it is, but that's for the R32. You know what I'm saying? That's my radio. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Hold up, hold up. Damn, you know what I'm saying? That's my old school wiring right here. Take all that 50 fucking pounds of wiring and just nice, short and tight. And then you realize when you go and install the radio that when you go to pull this out, this short ass lead makes it kind of difficult to uninstall, whatever. Anyways, boom, got that. This, I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm gonna just go ahead and call it a seat bracket cause um, why not, right? Like I said before, this is my intake pieces. Oh yeah, here we go. I know I'm just showing you guys a bunch of shit right now, but just bear with me, motherfucker, bear with me. What do we got? Fittings, adapter, piece of plastic, that can go. This, that can go. Yo, you guys gotta figure out this box shit right here. The important shit, fuel rail items right here. You know what I'm saying? Rubber bands so I can pop your mama in the motherfucking ass. Anyways, old school Simply Clean uh, air freshener. Hmm, still smells good. Fuel rail. Oh look, random bolt. Probably important. Probably goes in there, but you know. Oh man. Back to where we was before. All four of these steering rack bushings. You know what I'm saying? What else we got here? This is a newer box. This is uh, it's for the steering rack. So that's all new shit that actually needs to go. Not the old steering rack, but with the new steering rack, which is over here. I like to keep things like that together. That way I don't lose track of them. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, right. So got that. What the, what the fuck going on? I bought something in here. I bought a, uh, okay, offset rack bushings. Okay, another piece that needs to, Go ahead, go the fuck on the hill. Can actually do that later. Oh, so in my discovery of these bolts and the bracket piece that holds this compressor housing on, I go, oh yeah, I've been missing that guy for quite some time. And then I realize he's actually just right here hanging out. He's been waiting for me to just do this to all this, this all these years. Have this motherfucking thing right here. I just gotta do this. Look, 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 look. look, somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at. Bang. Yeah. I'm impressed with the fact that I haven't lost those bolts because I don't know how the fuck I haven't lost those bolts. You know what I'm saying? But this kind of helps me out with getting re trained, reorganized of what I have. Like, it's stupid as it sounds. This dumbass ripped bushing right this is for the big hole in the fucking fender well right though boom you know what i'm saying now something that i did years ago at some point is i put these wires to come through here this is where the original speedo cable for the r32 comes from and as you can see i'm trying to rock the alternator wires and starter wires so they have their own because they're their own harness their own straight path into their boom, boom, yeah, you know I mean, and I know these work because uh, when I hit that key with a battery on it, this fucking motor spins over. Therefore, shit working. I know that was pretty close up, but yeah, try. I mean, I know it's like a long ass video already, but just the fact that I have all these pieces, like I can't, I can't remember why I took out all the 
fucking things out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like, I look back at it and I'm like, man, why the fuck did I take all these out? Because they're in here somewhere, I think. Yeah, like now they're, now they're all here. Like, why, why did I do this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm asking myself these questions and I guess I'm, I'll tell you right now, I ain't got the answers to my own fucking questions. So the only thing I can possibly think of is that I pulled those out because I wasn't gonna reinstall that for whatever dumb fucking reason, right? To go, oh, I'm gonna build a race car. So that's probably race car related. Stop building a fucking race car, start driving your shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's a hard fucking lesson I had to learn quite some time ago. And this is the fucking prime example. Stop building fucking race cars, start driving your shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then the harness in here is really not that bad, honestly. Oh man. It's kind of weird because the car's on such an incline, so I'm trying to like walk around. And then check this out. I don't know what the fuck going on right here, but I can tell you like this. I don't know what the fuck going on right there. Anyways. Oh, I shot all this thing like a fucking horse. I'm going to pull the dash bar out. I'm going to powder coat this black. Totally forgot about it. Sending out the front parts there. It's fine because I still have to pull out the front half of the cage in that car. So anyways, and powder coat that. So I'll pull this out at some other time, powder coat it black, put it back in. And when I pull this out, it'll allow me to go back over some of all this harnessing. Like I know I have like this, like this is grounded, right? Boom, boom, boom. So I do know that right now, when I put a battery in the car, the lights come on in here. I turn the key, it does spin the fucking motor over. So I think for the most part, everything's fucking plugged in. You know what I'm saying? But man, like I know at some point I slim this harness down and this is the original harness for the car, right? And I slimmed it down quite a bit. Oh no. I slimmed it down quite a bit here. To see how many wires go this way and see less wires go that way. Same with this. And I know somewhere in this, I accidentally cut the ground wire so I just gotta make a ground wire back there for the taillights. Those taillights actually still work 100%. And then I slimmed this amount of wire down so I had this nice thin wire, run it all the way back up through there. But somewhere in this whole harnessing from back here to here, I cut the fucking power wires for the damn doors, which is so stupid, which I didn't realize because all I cared about was making sure the car still worked when I slimmed down the whole back half of the harness. You trying to check it out in here? You wanna come in here or what? Probably not, I'm just gonna sniff it. So, man, that's how it balls in this motherfucker without that damn fan on. Anyways, so these don't work unless I get my power probe and I hit that motherfucker right though. You know what I'm saying? And that'll make the window go up and down. So I can wire that aftermarket. However, put the switches in the center here. But, you know, we got this here spinning. Careful. You might ruin your clock spring. Yeah, no one cares anymore because old girl got to come out. You can see, fatally worn. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because like when I daily drove this car, this wheel was not in this bad of shape. So over the years of just cooking in the garage or whatever the case is, old girl here been lively. You know what I'm saying? I got shit like this. I actually cut my head open on this years ago when I crashed this car once. So. I gotta drill this motherfucker out. I gotta pull this down. Probably try to cut this lip off of here. Drill this motherfucker out here. As you can see, this place is flat and this one's pulled up. That's for uh, head space. One thing I don't like about sunroof cars is they always encroach downwards on the head space and being a tall ass motherfucker like myself. Yeah, you know I mean, I ain't with that shit, baby. So, yeah, I got a little door over here. I just. Ooh, stuff over there. Better just. No, oh, door panel's not on there. That's okay. That's okay. I got cut quarters in there. Got to fix that at some point. I got a big ass hole right though. Got to fix that shit. Let me get it. Let me get out of here. Oh. So that's my bad about you know rambling so long. I mean, it's just like every time I look inside the car. I get kind of, uh, it's almost overwhelming, right? Whoa, shit, I'm gonna die just now. It's almost kind of overwhelming, right? So basically like, every time I look inside the car, 
it's like, man, I got so much shit in there. It's like, what do I have? You know what I mean? Like, and then it, you've already seen, I've ordered the same part multiple fucking times. You know, like, fuck, so many times. And it's like, man, that's, that's wasted money. That's wasted money that goes to a different project, to a different piece, to a different thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like, oh man, I just got millions of dollars hanging out. I can spend as much as I fucking want. Obviously, it ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a, a four, four power, I mean, a four steering rack bushings. Fucking four. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna keep two because I only need two of them. You know what I'm saying? Technically, I have five because if you count the one that's on the car already, so that can fucking go. You know what I mean? So it's like, technically there's, I think they're like 40 or 50 bucks a pop. So I have four plus the one that's already in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like you do the math and shit. And then, fuck, I can't believe I only ordered like the uh, rear subframe fucking uh, bracing kit once. I mean, I probably only did that because I didn't have fabrication abilities at that time when I ordered it originally. And I knew I'd have to probably bring it to someone to fabricate. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I have all these different fucking, all these different parts, all this different shit, right? So really it's like, I have to go through everything. I have to see what it is. All those bolts I have, probably gonna use 10% of them, maybe 20%. So I know I can take all those bolts, put them together, and I, for now I can just put them away. The harnesses don't need to be in that car. Seat brackets don't need to be in that car either. Take all that shit the fuck out. If it don't involve making that car start and run, it does not fucking need to be in there. You know what I'm saying? So like the steering rack and the, the steering rack technically doesn't need to be in the car because it doesn't involve making the car start and run. However, I'm gonna put it in there because since I already have the subframe out, I can put the new subframe, the new rack and all the new bullshit. I can align the rack, align the steering, I can align all the bullshit right out the gate. So that's gonna put me ahead of the game easier. You know what I'm saying? I can see which, uh, which steering bearing I'm gonna use to adjust for the rack being a little further away because I bought the GK Tech solid uh, rack bushings and it pushes the subframe, I mean the steering rack a little further away from the chassis. So if you know about those cars, I'm not sure if all cars have them, but I know the Nissans do, the, you have the little knuckle that's on the rack and it's got a flat spot in it for your bolt to go through and it allows you for some adjustment. Now, being that I already had an adjustment issue when I had the S13 rack in it to begin with, I that's part of what made me go to an S15 rack, was I said, okay, well, I knew that I, was, I wasn't able to line up on the flat spot, no matter what I did. Something needs to be longer somewhere else, right? So I have those different fucking bushings and shit to kind of adjust for that. So I'm gonna try to stop rambling for you, try to cut the bitch off, trying to cut the bitch off, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. I don't have time to fucking tell you this shit. But yeah, long ass video about me just talking about some shit, but this is all progression for this fucking car. You know what I'm saying? Now I can do what's called a, fuck what they call that, like a Kaizen type shit, right? Where basically you're cutting out all the extra bullshit and you're focusing down on to what you need more specifically. You know what I mean? I've been so involved with this car for so many years where I just pick up a little spot here, pick up a little spot there. You know what I'm saying? To where it's like, where am I even at anymore? You know what I mean? And that's why I turn into a Christmas tree and I go, oh, that's a sick part. I fucking buy that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got a turbo, sick ass turbo manifold, sick ass intake manifold. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's a cool part. I can get it for a good deal right now. Buy it. Car doesn't have nothing. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Appreciate you motherfuckers watching this shit because for some reason, like I said, my YouTube's been growing. That's great. Uh, I have merch. I now have uh, three shirts and a hat on the website. Links in the description of all the all the videos and shit, so you can check that out for yourself if you like. Uh, what else we got coming? We did some unexpected GTR drift shit, so hopefully, video of that surfaces really fucking soon. Footage, whatever the case may be, I'm working on that shit. Um, that was fucking tight. So uh, at the at a special event in Mexico, obviously, it's the only place, the only place to do it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Be at it. Appreciate you, motherfuckers, watching this shit. Hit this bitch with a comment to let me know about the car. If you see something, you know what I'm saying? Say something in that shit. I don't care. You can tell me my videos fucking suck. I don't care. Do whatever you gotta do, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, check out the merch. If you think it's tight, order it. If you don't like it, don't fucking buy that shit. You know what I'm saying? 
So boom, little motherfucking baby, watch your motherfucking turkey neck, and I'm out.